What's going on everybody and welcome back to another live day trading recap video in which we started a new strategy today. I go over the strategy in the first couple of trades and then I believe it's the third live trade that you're going to see. The strategy kind of falls apart. We created it during pre-market or we updated the variables during pre-market and then you'll see why in the video why it kind of falls apart and, and kind of what we have to do to recover from that uh, during the video. So make sure you stick around and watch the trades. Stick around to the end because I do take trades off camera. You'll see how the day actually ended up for me. Hit like if you enjoy these videos. Hit the red subscribe button if you're new and want to get live day trading recap videos in your subscription box every day. And let's get into the action. We will. Obviously, the system does. We will. We are short here. We are short the markets at 387.76. It is 1026. First hour of the day is almost over and we're entering our first trade. But the markets have just been getting crushed. Markets have just been getting crushed so hard. We never, we never had, you know, we never had a big enough bounce too short. Obviously, our our uh, strategy doesn't chase moves, so we're waiting for a big enough bounce. We're finally getting one. We are in short now. Sorry, it's not showing my trades. Hold on. Somebody told me how to fix this. If I change time frames, it fixes it, right? Three minute to two minute. Oh, it didn't fix it. Is show trades turned off? Nope, show trades is on. I don't know. You can see my position here, 386, 387.76. You might notice we do have a new indicator. We did find a new back test that is extremely good. I'm gonna show you quickly. We did find a new back test. If we utilize the tick charts EMA, uh, it, it does a very good job or does a much better job of protecting us from shorting uptrend. Look at this, average win 88, average loss 45. That's nearly two to one. And our win percentage is 60%. And the max drawdown is only 456. This is only over the last 30 days. This strategy only really works during volatile markets. Uh, we do still have to come up with another strategy that can, or kind of a more mega strategy that can implement all these strategies we've created into the correct market conditions. But yeah, for, for now, we have found a new you know, indication that puts us into shorts a lot better once again over time. Still has a 60% win rate, still means we lose trades. We are losing immediately in this trade. We'll see what happens, but but yeah. This is the uh, EMA of the tick chart. So it is the EMA, it is the five minute EMA. Oh shit. I just, I just shorted another hundred shares. I was just in a 200 share short. Never been in a position that big. I forgot. Con <laughs> so control five is apparently a hot key to short. So when I type in dollar sign ticker, it puts an order out. So I guess I can't show you guys. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I can't show you. <clears throat> My bad. We did just short another 100 share. I think I, think I lost a couple bucks doing that, but... But yeah, it's, it's the tick chart, which is an internal chart of SPY. That's the indicator we're using. We're still short. Our average cost went up to 388.49 because we shorted another 100 shares. But you can see we're still down in this trade, 40 bucks. Starting to move in our direction, though. You lost on that accidental short. Pay up channel points. No, no, no. That doesn't count. Come on. <laughs> That doesn't count for the prediction. <laughs> that would be fucked up. Just accidentally take a trade and then give out the channel points based on that. <laughs> okay, nice. Spy wants to be strong now. Once again, we got a bottoming, bottoming tick here. Bottoming wick, should I say, on this candle. Here you go. <laughs> Just like the last two days, you get short and then you start to see all kinds of strength in Spy. Down, 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 down. This, this extra indicator has helped, but once again, it helps over time. It doesn't mean that sometimes, it doesn't mean now all of a sudden we win every short. Like, <sighs> have you posted the strategy in Discord? I have. The strategy is in Discord. In the Algo Nerd section of Discord. Uh, here's the code. No, here's the code. So here you can see it using using this tick chart. The EMA of the tick chart. 
other details to how you're using that somewhere? Yeah, yeah, well, the code is in Discord. Including the new updates? No, no, so this is still set to short if the tick is under a, a hundred. My current is set to short if the tick is under negative 200. So that's a change you would have to make, I guess. Variable change. I don't see how to add that tick chart. Oh, 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 that's that's other code I didn't include. That's also custom coded. Um, I can post this in Discord too. I'll post this in the Discord too if you want to add this, like if you want to add this chart so you can see the indicator. Give all this away for free, right boys? Give all this away for free. And I say that, and to be fair, I didn't come up with this idea today, right? Somebody in the Discord, uh, Sal Pauletti or T.S. Pauletti, is the one that came up with this idea in the Discord. So, like, you know, giving giving it away for free has helped open source it. We now have, like, a community of people that are working together to optimize the strategy, right? It's awesome. <laughs> okay, it's trying to break down again, but getting another bottoming wick. Spy, once again, short, extremely, extremely weak all day. Now Trey's short. It wants to show some strength. Of course, why wouldn't it? <laughs> why wouldn't it, right? <laughs> oh, Spy, these last couple of days. Remember, just because we've gotten crushed the last two days does not mean we have a less percent chance to get worked today, too. Both of, last, both of the last two days were perfectly within the variable range of red days you can have in the system. They just happen to happen back to back. That really sucks, but it's like reverse gambler's fallacy, right? Just because I got crushed the last two days, I'm going into today with the same exact percentage chance to get crushed again, right? <laughs> the, market, the market doesn't give a shit. The market doesn't care that you're down yesterday. It's going to be nice and give you money today. Like... <laughs> It's not, not how the statistics work, right? <laughs> Put them on GitHub. Wait for people like me to fork them. Profit. What happens if you fork something from GitHub? I haven't used GitHub since college. Well, that's not true. I use GitHub a little bit in my job. Not a lot, though. I don't pull a lot of code. We do uh, black box testing. So I don't look at code. So I have hardly used GitHub since I've graduated college. Uh, we're down 75 bucks in this trade still. Obviously, we shorted down here. We shorted down here. I know it's not showing my trade. but Forkings, you can use your repo to base your own code off of. Yeah, no, I, I know what forking is, but he said, he said profit. I didn't know if something happened. If... Does, does, does something happen if somebody forks your code? <laughs> I guess you get to see the changes they make. So if they make a better code, I get to yoink that, I guess. <laughs> can then go yoink. If I see somebody that makes a much better algorithm based off of my base template, I can go yoink it. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> okay. We're now only down 45 bucks. Starting to break down a little bit. But, obviously, we're still red. Get yoinked. Yep. This would be the perfect code to put on a repo. I mean, I can try to figure out how to do that. <laughs> Upload code to GitHub. I'm sure it's easy. Adding locally hosted code to GitHub. I guess I could figure out how to do that. Oh, here we go. Spy, just bearish. Nothing but hardcore bearish all day. Finally gives a spike to short into. It wants to It wants to try to be strong now. Right? <laughs> Don't chase the move. Don't chase the move. Don't chase the move. Oh, okay. Here's your bounce. Ha ha ha. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Download GitHub Desktop. GitHub Desktop. Oh, oh, it's 
starting to break back down. Did I complain hard enough? Did I complain hard enough for the move to go in my direction? That's what you got to do, Chad. That's actually my trading strategy. If you buy my special course, I actually tell you my special super secret trading strategy. And it's just that you complain a lot if the trade goes against you. Thanks for the money. <laughs> Obviously joking if somebody can't read the sarcasm. But <laughs> ah! Will you just break down, spy? Why? <laughs> Clar, you're the follow. Appreciate you. No cursing. I'm trying not to curse. I'm trying. At least, at least when I know it's gonna go on YouTube, I cuss more for you guys on Twitch. You guys watching the stream live get to hear me cuss a lot more. <laughs> oh, spy, you little minx. Here you go. Yep, you're going to do that thing where I'm patient. I hold, I hold, I hold. It gets really close to the cover, and then you shove. I know. I know what you're going to do. Just, just do it. Just do it. I don't care. I'll get out where I'm supposed to get out. If that happens to be a 395, I mean, I'll cry, but I'll, whatever. <laughs> <sighs> what the fuck is a GitHub? <laughs> it's not like the other hub. Would not recommend just Googling hubs unless you're unless you're ready to see some stuff, but <laughs> <laughs> Your profanity use is the only thing I look forward to. The only reason I get up. <laughs> Good. Good, Whiskey. I'm glad I can make you happy, fella. <laughs> All right, Spy. You're giving me a topping wick here. Do you want to break it on down? No, you don't. Okay. No, let's go ahead. Rip. That's fine. Jesus, I'm not even going to read that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Twitch stream. If you guys from YouTube hasn't come join the Twitch stream yet, come join. Why not? It's free. You get to watch me trade in real time you know, for free. <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash trading stocks. You get to talk, to talk to me in real time, obviously. Join this weird little community I've grown over here. <laughs> there we go, Spy. Are you going to print below the blue line? You are. Woo! Okay, so if this candle closes above the low of previous candle, it is an exit. Oh, it did. Do I want to cover this? Whatever, I will. Okay, we lost 35 bucks in the first trade. Unfortunate, but actually not that bad. I'm not going to lie. I considered just holding that. Because I this like kind of looks like it wants to roll now. But no, no, that would have been the wrong thing to do. You got to get out where the strategy gets out. Okay, small loss. Okay, here we go. We are short here at 388.28. Once again, sorry that uh, Thinkorswim is not showing my trades on the chart. Uh, I've tried everything I can do to fix that. One more quick refresh. Nope. Looks like it's a situation where I have to restart TOS, and I'm not going to do that right now, so obviously. <laughs> but you can see my position again. We're up 25 bucks immediately. And we, oh, and we broke below the blue line. So now if this candle, if this candle closes above the low of previous candle, we get out. Hopefully we don't, though. Hopefully this is the time, you know, is this the, uh, Bear flag on spy. Can we break down? Big move down. Consolidates. Looks like a bear flag to me. Looks like a bear flag to me. Nope. Pushes right back up. And we're now red in this trade. <laughs> oh, dude. The spy, the spy the last couple of days has just been not an instrument you want to trade, honestly. It's not been an instrument you want to trade. Unfortunately, it's the one we're stuck in. <laughs> Oh, yep, yep. That candle makes a lot of sense, yep. Look at this. Just from 387.80 to 388.5. From 387.9 to 388.9. From 388.8. Like, all these candles have, like, 75 cent ranges in them. <laughs> Come on. Break it down. No? Okay. 30 seconds left in this candle. There's a definite range here. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's just the it's just that the range is so damn wide. It's crazy. It's crazy how volatile spy is. Unfortunately, the last two days we've caught that volatility on the wrong side. But when volatility is like this, all you need is a couple of trades that catch this volatility the right way. 
keep putting yourself in the right situation and catch a couple of these trades the right direction for this volatility and all of a sudden you're soaring, right? Uh, five seconds left. Ooh, this is going to be really close. Is this going to close above? It is. Okay. We made like 10 bucks in that trade. I feel dumb. I missed that. I just missed that short. If it comes back up there, I'm shorting it. If it comes back up like around this, I'm just going to take the trade. If it doesn't, I just missed it. Sorry, chat. I did not think this was below negative 200, but it was. Okay, I might get a chance to short this anyway. I might get a chance to short this anyway. Sorry, I just missed that trade. I'm not going to chase it. If, if if it goes down without me and I missed it, it goes down without me. But it's repainting. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. I'm still going to take this trade. That that's gonna be a problem though. Okay, we are we are short. We did get short at 388.42, but okay. So the five minute EMA tick repainted, and then it went back and retook this trade. Is that what happened? I got you because it's based on the five minute it repainted. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a problem because obviously you can't trade that. I still I still took the short because it bounced back up to like the same price anyway. Um. But that's, that's, that's fucking up the back testing. Okay. Okay. So it looks like we're not going to be able to use this. Well, damn. That explains why it was so damn good, huh? <laughs> that explains why it was so damn good. It felt too good to be true. No. <laughs> it did feel too good to be true. Shit. Anyway, we are in this position. Since since it did bounce back up to where the repaint got in anyway, I took it. But, okay, yeah, that's that's going to make this unusable. That's going to make this unusable. We can try to use it on the same time frame. Like, instead of using the five-minute EMA, the tick EMA, we can try using the two-minute tick EMA. Because then that shouldn't repaint, right? Maybe that helps. We can try that. We can try that, but... We are up 42 bucks in this trade. This time, you know, this time we got to short it like the back test anyway, because it bounced, right? But obviously that won't always happen. Sometimes it'll already be down here and then it'll repaint and you'll never get to actually take that trade. Have it store the variable to a one minute variable. Yeah, well, we'll look into solutions after. I'm going to pay attention to this trade right now. We'll look into solutions that after, but... Uh, at least that makes me feel a little bit better. I thought I just completely missed this trade. <laughs> I was like, what the f... Oh my gosh, huge bottoming wick? Oh, dude, these spy candles lately. I was like... <laughs> Br huge breakdown followed by huge save wick. Woo! Can't you just go down? I'm in a short. Just go down. Just go in my direction. Trading would be so much easier if you just listened, spy. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah, we'll we'll look at solutions after this trade. So the the code in its current the code in its current situation is not going to work. That's a bummer. It felt it felt too good to be true. Turns out it is too good to be true. <laughs> Obviously, we still have a working code. The other code still works. Uh, that this this upgrade we made this morning just looks like it's not a real upgrade. We'll have to go back to the other code. <laughs> Or, I mean, what what if what if you did use this? No. <sighs> to say, what if you did use this and if there was times it repainted and you don't get the chance to re-enter like this, you just don't take that trade. But then that would mess with the whole R and R if you're not taking certain trades. Ah, I don't think I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can we can try to run this on the same time frame as we're trading. It's reprinting because we're running the EMA on a five minute chart and we're trading on a two minute chart, so it goes back and reprints. Or, 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 sorry, it changes. Obviously, the five minute EMA is still changing after the two minute bar closes. So, like the two minute bar was closed, but then the five minute EMA changed, and it ended up, you know, the back test 
took the trade, even though it was in the past, right? <laughs> okay, we're break even in this trade. Spy doesn't want to break down quite. Can't quite decide what it wants to do. And now we're red. Man trading's been frustrating the past couple weeks, honestly. Well, last week was fun. Last week was good, actually, but... <laughs> Okay, we are below the blue line, so if this closes above the low of previous candle, closes above the low of this candle, we're out of this candle. I just said candle four times in a row. I don't think that made any sense, but you know what I mean, I think. <laughs> yeah, Paletti. Hey, you called it, man. You said, you said it feels too good to be true. There must be something wrong with it. There is. We have just discovered there is something wrong with this, yeah. But hey, I mean, we're making money in this trade. We're still making money. <laughs> This, this time, we got a chance to still take the trade, right? But there's going to be enough situations where that's not true. You don't ever want a backtest that's trading in scenarios in which you couldn't get that in real time, right? Because then, what's the point? I see a lot of YouTube videos about people backtesting using Hiken Ashen candles. Or Hiken Ash candles. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that's false. That is all incorrect backtesting. Because Hiken Ash candles are calculated candles they're not they're not representative of real price the candles have calculations within them so the back test is getting better entries and exits than you can ever get all right that's stuff stuff like that you've got to watch out for obviously you want to you need to make sure your back testing is is possible to match in real time right or else you can just cheat I and mean, anybody can write a cheating back testing code that looks awesome right that's easy anybody can do that <laughs> <laughs> all right 10 seconds we are obviously above the low of previous candle right now but we're close let's see okay it's a nothing trade cool we made 10 bucks in that trade too what are these trades this morning <laughs> we lost like 30 bucks and we made 10 made 10 like yay i don't know Alrighty, so that's the end of the opening hour, a little bit over an hour actually. It took me so long to get into that first trade, I just stayed live over on Twitch and took a couple more, but that's the end of the live recorded trades. We ended that session up about break even, I say up about, uh, we finished that session about break even. As you look now, we are down $77. Unfortunately, it's another red day, it's third in a row, although today is much much better than the last two red days today's a lot more manageable i'll take a 77 dollar red day but yeah not long after i ended that live recording session actually the next trade i took spy started taking off again and once again the strategy was trying to short this move right uh we were getting short here covering here you know shorted here covered here shorted here i think we might have made a little bit no, no, we still lost money in this trade too. Not a lot, like 15 bucks. But, uh, you know, got caught trying to short all of this strength again. That's what we were doing with the first strategy, the strategy that I had updated that we were trying to use, that tick chart EMA we, we thought had helped us uh, uh, denote a way to kind of dodge shorting into all that strength. But it ended up not working because that strategy was redrawing trades on the chart which you then obviously can't use you can't use a back test that you can't emulate and copy in real time if you're if your back test is going and taking trades don't like going back past current time and taking trades then you can't use that because unfortunately we don't have that power it would be nice oh i'll go back oh look it's breaking down okay i'll go back and short here no, we can't do that. Unfortunately, we have to make the decisions and you need your algorithms and your back test to be making decisions in real time. So we did move uh, back to the strategy we've been using, which once again, got caught shorting into too much strength again. We will work. Uh, I did go live last night. I may go live again. I probably will go live again on Twitch. So if you're watching this video, um, <clears throat> come follow me on Twitch and check me out tonight. I'll probably be live uh, around 8 p.m. Eastern working on the code, working on the strategy because for so long, so let's pull this over. For so long in this strategy, right, from when do we start? We started March 1st until just a couple of days ago. We were doing so, so well, just pretty much going straight up, right? Well, what did the markets do pretty much that entire time? I mean, from March 1st, uh, which is here, this is March 1st, uh, we actually did pretty well. That's funny. You know, that's funny. I was going to say, I think the markets have been coming down the whole time, but we actually made money. This is from 
March 15th to March 30th. March 15th is here, March 30th is here. Uh, so we actually made money during that period too. So hell, it might just be an, a, a question. I do, I do have all of these kind of versioned. It might be a question of going back to the old strategy. Maybe we got a little bit too much curve fitting into the strategy like here so so not since we first started using it but since since april started spy has been going straight down so you know maybe we got too curve fitting on the strategy just looking to short everything on the strategy not having a stop loss on shorts shorting every spike you know now that spy is obviously starting to show a little bit of strength not a lot but it's making some more intense up moves than it had been for a while. Obviously, we're starting to get crushed in that. I say crushed. I mean, we're still up. Uh, but obviously, the PL is not in this perfect little trend anymore. Uh, you know, it's something we've got to implement. I think we might have dove a little bit too deep into the perfect curve fitting, which you don't want to do in backtesting. You don't want to get too deep. You've got to be able to future-proof your strategies as well uh, for changing market conditions. And as the market conditions are changing, the, the market is still bearish. Don't get it twisted. But you're starting to get some sharper up moves, obviously, as you can see, that we're starting to get stuck in. Uh, so we will look for a way that we can not short these big up moves because for the last three days, it has costed us the two previous days very bad. Today was not too bad, uh, but the last two days, very bad. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any ideas, you know, how to not, what indications we can use to not short up moves. Uh, I've tried RSI, I've tried simple moving averages. And another thing with that is, yes, when I used both of those, it lowered the overall PL, right? It made it made the strategy make less money over a 30-day period, but that might just have to be something you live with. In changing market conditions, you might not just get to perfect equity curve to see how much money the last 30 days made. You need to worry about how it's going to perform in the future too, which is why we also journal, right? It's why we don't just back test and then start blindly trading. You got a journal now, now, you know, obviously now I get a chance to see that the system is, has this per tense per tensity per this ability. I don't know <laughs> what shiny is the ability to get crushed. If spy makes a sharp up move, now we know we need to go back into the strategy and fix that. Remember, this strategy is still very young. I've been trading it since March. It's coming up on three months. Three months we've been trading the strategy. It's very young. We haven't run, this is really our first kind of, oh crap, you know, or our first kind of real, real problems we've ran into with it. And that's fine. You know, it's young. We have a chance now to go change it, to go look to improve it, to go make it better. So once again, if you have any thoughts about that, let me know in the comment section down below and come follow me on Twitch. I probably will be live tonight working on the algorithm. If not tonight, I'm on, I'm on over there on Twitch every day trading the algorithm. So if you have ideas, you know, come talk to me live over on Twitch as well. Uh, but here's the detailed statistics. Show you guys these every day. We are getting close to the end of May in which you will get the monthly deep dive video in which I'll deep dive into these statistics. So that's the day. $70 red day, another red day, but it's much, much more measured than the last two red days. So uh, after how bad the last two red days were, I was kind of here for this breather today. A small, small moving day. Nice little breather. Uh, I'll take it. Honestly, it's fine. And once again, we... Thought we had a solution to, to shorting into the strength, but then we didn't. Uh, so I'm going to continue to work on finding ways to improve this system so that it's not shorting into too much strength, into too much pressure. Uh, we'll get it figured out. I promise you we will. This is trading, guys. I mean, this is just what it is. I said it. I said it yesterday and I said it today. Just because you lost money doesn't mean you have a better chance to make money today. You can go through periods like this. Uh, and it is what it is. And now now via journaling and, and via testing and via going over the trades and these videos every day, we see the weakness of the strategy. We can try to pinpoint that, try to optimize it, try to make it better. And we'll look to do that in the future. Uh, we are still up. We are still profitable on the system. Obviously nowhere near what we were, but it's better than being down a bunch of money, isn't it? So no reason to start crying yet. And all of this, once again, all of this was within what we knew we could lose, right? This is why we're sizing in the way we are. We knew we could drop fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500. That's the max drawdown of the two-minute system is a little over $1,400. We haven't even quite dropped that much yet. We dropped about $1,100. Uh, so we knew all this was possible. It's why you backtest. The importance of backtesting so that you can properly bankroll, so that you don't get crushed 
everything's all fine and dandy, fine and dandy, fine and dandy, but you always know this is possible, and we just happen to finally run into one. Uh, but we are going to look to improve the system, continue moving forward, get this thing trending back in the right direction. Hopefully you guys are excited for that. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to following along with the journey. If you are, and if you're enjoying these videos, please scroll down, please take the half second, hit the like button. Really does mean the world. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on any uh, ideas for upgrading the algorithm and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. I will catch you all in the next one. Oh,